mechanic whose girl power is educating women about the cars they drive. Plus, I talk with a local chess champion about how Netflix's The Queen's Gambit is inspiring more women to make their move in the world of chess. Hey guys, I'm Jacqueline Means, Delaware STEM Queen, and I'm a part of a brand new project that you ought to know about. And we'll show you the art of restoring books passed down from generations, like the one President Biden used to take the oath of office. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Well, it's no secret that when it comes to car repairs, most women feel taken advantage of. A Philadelphia woman decided to do something about that. She left her engineering job at DuPont and set out to make a difference. My story starts with being an auto airhead. I knew nothing about cars. I always felt taken advantage of. Um, I'd panic anytime like a dashboard light would pop up and I always, always thought I needed a guy to help me. And it wasn't a very empowering position. I'm an engineer and I was like, you know, the woman of today, except when it came to my car, I felt helpless. And I was tired of feeling that way. I went back to automotive technology school at Delaware Technical Community College in Delaware. And as soon as I started working on cars, I was fascinated with the information and how attainable it was and that every woman should know this information. And so I started just creating an educational workshop around cars for women to give them the most important information that they needed so they could make the right choice with their car. Women are the number one customer in the automotive industry by far. We spend $200 billion a year buying and repairing our cars. Yet, it's up to like 85% of women feel mistreated or taken advantage of by the automotive industry. So I really hope that not only could Girls Auto Clinic help women when it comes to their cars, but also the automotive industry and be a catalyst or jumpstart a movement to say, hey, Pay attention to your number one customer. She's here. She wants to know more. She wants to learn more. She wants to be more engaged. And so that's what we really ultimately want to do at Girls Auto Clinic is represent women in the automotive industry, um, create opportunities, not just to be mechanics, but to be owners, right? To have influence or to have the power that you need to really make change happen. I've been doing auto repair my whole life. This place is 100% different just because of the energy, the message behind it. To be in an environment where your career kind of mixes with your personal goals too is kind of a big deal for me. We decided to put the nail salon in the shop because I wanted to give something women look forward to. Get your hair and nails done or eyebrows waxed. We also do facials while you wait for your car. We have a beautiful lounge where you can watch TV, you can have the kids play and just hang out. Or We have a window seat area, you can read some books. So we've got some great female empowerment books on our shelves. I love being a vehicle of empowerment for women to be themselves, to be women, to be mothers, and to be able to work on cars or in an environment around cars where they don't have to feel like they fit in or change who they are to have a great career, to right, have influence. I want to give opportunities to women around the world to join this field, to own their own shops, right, to be salespeople, to work in parts, to work on the retail side. And that's what we really wanted to create. The end of the story is I'm a chicanic now, right? So I know how to take care of my car. I'm no longer afraid of it. Hello, my speak to Michael. Please. No longer afraid of the mechanic. Hi, this is Patrice from Girls Auto Clinic. How's it going? We're a female empowerment company. We are here for women in any way that we can empower them in the future. Not only is Banks helping women become chicanics through her workshops, she's also been featured in TED Talks and received last year's Outstanding Entrepreneur by Lehigh University. She canics. I love everything about that story. Women are also making inroads in the chess world. 